Welcome back to the channel guys. So uh, before I start with this uh, with our next run just a quick heads up uh, I'm gonna be doing uh, this run right here which might be a quick one might be a short one because there's a few really challenging forces that I've been trying to get to and um, so I don't know how long these runs are gonna go for these next couple of runs so they could be some pretty short ones I'm assuming they will be just because of the challenge presented but like I said I I, I do like playing these uphill battle scenarios so we might see some really um, drastic scenario starts over the course of the next uh, couple uploads now I'm gonna start with the first one here is gonna be a Gong Zun Zen one so this one might actually it might actually go places <laughs> as opposed to the other ones that I've got in my back pocket uh, another thing too is uh, at some point next month I'm gonna be uploading some Crusader Kings 3 stuff onto the channel so um, be on the lookout for that I'm actually I'm not too sure if I'm gonna upload or if I'm gonna live stream it uh, I'm still in the I'm still kind of trying to get the handle of that game since it's such such a heavy heavy game but you know I'm shooting for May probably mid to late May I'll probably start uploading some Crusader Kings so I'll be on the lookout for that and I'd like to at some point when I get some free time do some live streams some more ROTK 14 live streams so I'm not sure what I'm gonna live stream yet or if it's uh, I might just continue that Liu Kui um, scenario that I had sunsetted because I was looking at it the other day and uh, it's on the channel if you guys haven't seen it um, it's under live streams oh it's not Liu Kui it's Liu Kong sorry I, I've got, I just realized I've played both of the Liu's at this point both of the progeny uh, progenies I should say well you know what they're not progenies actually they're both kind of underachievers both of Liu Biao's underachieving sons I think I've done some pretty deep runs with at this point but uh yeah Liu Kong man that scenario is just the only thing left to do is to throw down against Cao Cao uh one versus one pretty much so I might continue that and yeah so let's start this Kong Zun Zen I've always liked playing Gong Zun Zen I haven't really played him in this one uh I don't Probably because there's just so many forces to get to, like I said. But we're gonna do Gong Zoom Zan in 191. He's just a really good balanced starting force. Han Totak Rengo no Ikioi ni go ni ashta Totak. I haven't seen this for a while, so I guess I'll let it run. Hio Hanachi, Chowan ni Sentoshita.楽よに一番乗りした孫権は復興作業に尽力した後宮中の井戸から伝国の玉樹を見つける玉樹を得た孫権は炎症と争いながらも調査に帰還し同じ頃。That was トータクを倒せぬままに連合軍は瓦解し諸侯はそれぞれの思惑で動き争い始めた中でも諸侯の動向に強い影響を与えたのは死生参考の名門である炎章と炎術だった炎章と炎術は互いに相手を牽制せん
191 is kind of like this brief moment in the novel where technically uh, none of the Three Kingdom forces are like running away with the game. You know, they're all, everybody's like a minor force. Sun Jian's kind of a subordinate to Yuan Chu, uh, Liu Bei to Yuan Shao, and even Cao Cao. So I guess that's what they're trying to do. Alright, so I like to play Gong Sun Zen with one small adjustment, and that is... You know what, actually, I wonder if I can get him to Liu Bei. So I don't like to use Zhao Yun. Oh, uh, when I play as Gong Sun Zan. Yeah, he's already here. Okay. Uh, so I usually just cut him loose. But I will see if I can get him to join Liu Bei because I know that's an event in the game. Let's see. The reason is, uh, you know, Zhao Yun is just uh, one of those S tier officers that is a lot of fun early game, like early in your, I want to say, I don't want to say romance career, but pretty much. Uh, he's a lot of fun, but as you start to play and the years keep rolling on and on, you start to, uh, you know, you start to see just how strong as to your officers just warp, completely warp a force. I don't know if I passed it already. I might have passed it already. Let's see. Ooh, there's one for Gong Zoom Zen defeating Yuan Shao. Let's see if we can do that. This is all city expansion. Hmm. I must have passed it. So yeah, Zhao Yun is definitely one of those. It's kind of like the same reason why I don't use Liu Bei. Unless I'm doing three visits, that's about the only time I'll use Liu Bei is just to... Which I try to do every time I get a new romance game, I just... Uh, you know, the three visits to, to forming Liu Bei's kingdom is just so much fun. I'm pretty sure everybody does that. But that's about it. I won't use Liu Bei either because of that. He's just so... He's he's just so ridiculously strong. There it is. Reunion with Zhao Yun. It's got to be past 195. Ooh... Zhao Yun has the status of free. I don't even know that Liu Bei is going to be around by 195. I feel like we may as well cut him loose anyway. Even if he joins Yuan Shao. Or we could just keep him in the castle, garrisoned. You know, just have him work commerce or something. I don't know, I just, I really don't want to use him though. We're just going to release him. Let's see, how do you even do that? Banish. Okay. So yeah, I always, uh, if I play Gong Zhu Zhang, I don't really use him. And I don't know if I was the first one who started doing this, or it was somebody in my group of friends. I think I gotta give the credit to a buddy of mine who would play as Gong Zhu Zhang in Romance 11. And he would just always, uh, cut him. And this was multiplayer, of course, so we'd be like, you know, what are you doing? But... We did play multiplayer, but, you know, there was enough distance to where... I feel like... I don't think he ever would have done it if he was, you know, if we were right next to each other. But yeah, once you cut uh, Zhao Yun, it really makes this force... You, you really you really start to feel the, the challenge after that. Because now your best leader is Gong Zun Zan and the rest of his family and you just have a lot of role players on your team 
You know, so you have people that have maybe one good thing that they do, and the challenge becomes, you know, getting the most out of everybody. So, and you don't have your, uh, you don't have your safety net or your, your, your band-aid where you could just slap onto whatever, and, and it's fixed. Now I do have. I do think this would be harder if I did 198. So I'm allowing myself a little bit of an easier time because I think Kung Kung Gang's toughest scenario is 198. We have enough orders to do both. I kind of want to search first. Ah. Let's distribute them. Yeah, his, his toughest is the Lubu campaign. Anything around Lubu campaign is really tough for him. Because you're basically pushed up against the wall. Yuan Shao's got, you know, he's closing in at that point. And I do feel like he's you're missing leaders. Like you're missing more leaders than you are now. Because between 191 and 198, 199... Gong Zun Zhang does get some other officers. I just I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I know that he does. I don't know if they're from Liu Yu or not, but he does get a few more officers. And by the time 198 rolls around, it's like you're really up against it. And in this one, in this romance, they added the Battle of uh, Jialing, which I don't even think it's possible. I don't know that it's possible to come back from that on uh, on veteran. You know, to just start the scenario and trigger that. Because I did trigger it one time to see what it does, and it just completely hoses his force. I think we're... Ooh, Wang Ling, alright. We do have the officers uh, set to fictional starting position as usual, so... You never know who's going to turn up where. Enemies, yeah, with Liu Yu. Okay, so we'll be fighting against him pretty soon. He's not going to be... He shouldn't be too difficult to beat. Let's turn up the speed. We've got our kinsman, Gong Zun Du over here. Now, if the Wu Huan attack, we could be in some trouble. I don't think I can send them anything right now. Alright, let's try to establish an alliance with Kong Soon Du so we could focus on our two immediate rivals because they're bordering us. In Romance 9, Gong Sun Zhang was really difficult. Honestly, any of these corner guys were really difficult. Because the tribes in the old game, the Wu Huan and the uh, Shan Yu and the other guys, they would attack you immediately in the other games. And they would wipe out your city. Like, you could be just destroyed right from the jump. Go. So there was a lot. I used to play this a lot in Romance 9, and I would just have to restart. To play for like a half hour, and then I'd be like, okay, time to restart. Wu Huan's invading me with 300,000, and they're not letting me catch my breath. This, you know, this scenario's over. In this game, at least, they kind of uh, give you a little bit of a chance to hold them off, but. Still not a good, not a good outlook if they start attacking right away. All right, so I wonder if you want Shao is just gonna eliminate Liu Bei right away. I don't know. I don't remember playing this 191 file, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure how it plays out. Looks like he's attacking. He's already attacking. Our job might be just to keep Liu Bei alive. Hey. 
聞いてくだされ。Alright, let's get administration set up. Or I forget. Orders are increased. I don't think that's essential right now. Okay. Advisor says 72. Uh, durability and construction speed. Uh, let's do. I guess develop facilities. Strengthen goose. Let's do goose and. I guess ring. I don't really want to use arrow. Since on veteran you take so much damage. Right, I guess we'll put Kong and Zang over there. Okay. familiar with this guy. Right, let's keep trying to get Wang Ling. Who else is free? Nah. He's got the summoner trait. I'm definitely gonna need that. You cool. Okay, so I should be able to just ignore Liu Yu. I could attack him, but I think I'm going to focus my resources. The early game strategy is going to be landing an assault here. And just trying to keep uh, Yuan Xiao busy. Keep harassing him and see if it'll allow Liu Bei to stay in the game. Because Liu Bei doesn't have a lot of troops. Oh, they're going to fight each other as well. Okay, that's great. They're not going to focus on you then. Okay, let's send him another good will. Let's just get that done with. Thankfully I have 30,000 troops. That's such a huge surplus. Ooh, Zhang Yan. If we could get this guy. This guy would be excellent. You cool. This guy's... I think he's... Oh, no, no, okay. I thought he was famous. It's not. Let's still try. Right, let's keep searching. I don't know if there's any items here or not. There could be. Try to dig up whatever we can find. Or whoever we can find for that matter. Yuan got a lot of territory, but you know Yuan Shu's core is so mediocre. I don't expect him to be able to hold on to anything really. All right, he's returning already. Let's try to get. Let's see if we can get trusted already. Twenty-nine thousand. 19. We just need Yuan Chao to start marching against somebody. Doesn't matter who. Liu Yu or uh, Liu Bei. Okay, 
行ってくる行こう向かおう参るか Give it another month and then we'll start recruiting. He's already going for Liu Bei. Alright, so let's send、uh, Kong Sun Fan. Arrow, goose, ring, and owl. Wow. Tough. But Pei Yuan Xiao Yi has arrow. Alright, let's send the brothers. Didn't really want to send Arrow, but. It does have Dash, so I could try Ring, but. Hmm. Even Goose. Give them orders. This little area is kind of weird, but we have to essentially you have to take the port first. I remember my very first playthrough of. Not my very first, I think it was my second playthrough. I was invading from here, I was playing as some force, and I didn't understand the hexes yet. Well, my supply line got cut off. You see the AI go through it all the time. Well, the exact same thing happened to me. And it sucks. <laughs> when you miss, when you, you know, misunderstand the supply chain in this game, oh, it's terrible. It's the worst. It's so heavy handed, too. It's crazy. I mean, you can, they did add the feature so that you can turn it down. How, you know, How badly it affects your supply line being cut. And I don't, because you get used to it. But the first couple of times, you know, I'm sure everybody's been through that. The first couple of times that your supply line gets cut and you watch your humongous force just fall apart. Oh, brutal. Dude, I got, I think I've got some PTSD memories from, from that happening to me. Losing some pretty large armies because of a miscalculation. On the hexes. I also had some pretty big gambles that have, you know, won out. But definitely more losses than wins. Alright, let's see if we can even get there fast enough to make a difference. This guy's already g o i n g to start building all over the place. Fine. Liu Yu's AI is extremely defensive. Could try to. 
drive him off that spot, but... We have two drill masters and we have one summoner. That's a, oh, we have we already had some summoners. Wow, we have three summoners on this force. Okay, pay you on Shao. No, I can't resist some bandit shenanigans. We have sanction event. Fall of Sunjian. Uh, I don't know that I want to trigger this. It's kind of uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you don't trigger it, he's essentially, you know, you pretty much guarantee that Wu's gonna rise unopposed. And if you do trigger it, I think it just kind of empties the map in the south. It does give Yuan Chu a shot in the arm, though, because I know some of the Wu retainers join Yuan Chu. You know what? Let's trigger it. Let's trigger it. Yuan Chu being a little bit stronger could be uh, good. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll hold off uh, South South a little longer. Anyone still capable after him? <laughs> This guy looks really happy. Cut them all down. Now it says in the novel that Sun Jian's head was crushed by stones. Like it specifically goes out of his way to say his head was caved in by the rock slide. Too bad that you can't uh, trigger this as Sun Jian. It's really strange, but for some reason you can't. Even though it does put Sun Se like in a really tough spot, because it's just him and let's see Zhou Yu maybe, and I think just a couple of Sun family members. Yeah, just direct Sun family members and Zhou Yu. But this would still be a fun thing to do. You know, play a Sunjian, trigger this, and then start from nothing, from scratch. Alright, so anyway, Yuan Shu, he got all those officers. Maybe he'll be a, he'll become a force to be reckoned with. At the very least, he can hold off, keep uh, Cao Cao and Dong Zhuo busy. Although we can trigger the the death of Dong Zhuo. So really it's just Cao Cao. Cao Cao running away with the game. Alright, unfortunately all I have is ships. So. Maybe the threat of invasion, though, he'll turn around. Be nice. Oh, he is turning around. 
Now the problem with doing this a lot is going to be our food. Being on boats and running around back and forth. Let's keep it fancy for now. Let's get this guy up on the mountain, just waiting. And we need some we need some merchants. As soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna have to proactively keep buying food, stockpiling it. Wow, Lu Su showed up all, all the way in Si Tong. Joined Liu Yan. I don't know that I need these two guys, you know? Right now I'm thinking... Try to save some gold as much as I can so that I'm comfortable with uh, supplies. Assuming that's who he's gonna deploy against me. Already at 192, and time flies in the early game. I feel like you blink and you go through like three years very quickly, and uh, at least in the early game. Now this game does get it does slow down incredibly slow. Actually, after like year four, it really starts to slow down. But I don't know that I think that's partly the player managing. You know, that's part of the player's speed. Plus one strength, Leopard Bow. Alright. Got that. We gotta stay close to the shoreline here because we don't want to get cut off. Strangely ill, but this is nothing. Oops. You know, I completely forgot about... I probably should have extended... Probably should have extended, uh... Lifespan. Kong Tun Zhang is not even around after 10 years, so. Hmm. I imagine his officers are probably going to pass away pretty quickly. Alright, we can try to hug the coastline here. Grab that. Problem is, Yu Ling could cut us off also. You know what, let's build something over here. Let's build a camp. Should we put it? Nani Yoko. Kokoro e mushita. Hey, you want Chow's just waiting. I'm just waiting for Yuan Chow to make a decision. Just by us being here though, just by virtue of us being here, it's gonna give Liu Bei a little bit of time. <clears throat> now that might not matter, because if he ends up fighting Kong Rong and uh Liu Dai, it's you know 
but the idea is just to prevent Yuan Shao from expanding right away. That's it, you know, it's that simple. We definitely don't want him to get the three brothers, you know, under his control. So we can get 900, you know, that's pretty good. For where we're at in the game, that's pretty good. We can also get some supplies, let's do that. All right, now let's put an overseer here. Does anybody have a trait that matters? Tax collector and promoter. Plus our recruiter. All right, so that's a no. Um... Let's put him on there. Plus four. Why not? Just to be a pain, we'll try to conquer it as quickly as possible. Just to be a thorn in Yuan Shao's side. Okay, now let's see if we can get our alliance done. Kong Zun Du. We're only friendly with him. Damn. Oh wow, we can trigger a love triangle plot already. Liu Yu and Gong Sun Zhang, this event results in us being able to just wipe out Liu Yu and take over Ji. But uh, I'm not going to trigger it since that's just... That's just going to make it a little too easy. But we'll trigger the love triangle, the plot. I don't know if it makes sense to even split up Dong Zhuo's force, if I'm being honest. I don't think that Dong Zhuo can really run away with the game. So, maybe we don't have Dong Zhuo die here. I don't know, you guys let me know. Let me know in the, in the comments. Do we put Dong Zhuo down or not? And if anybody has any other suggestions for the events, I know there's a lot of events uh, in 191 in this start. So just give me a shout, let me know. I'm thinking though that we should just let Dong Zhuo stay alive just for power balance sake. And just not trigger any of Cao Cao's events so that Cao Cao can't run over all these... Uh, mediocre guys around him because everybody's pretty weak around him I don't even think Dong Zhuo can fight Cao Cao even if he stays united it's unlikely I think triggered a duel immediately. Zhang He with less than a thousand troops. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do some damage here. I hope I don't lose my other brother because I know Kong Sun Zen has already lost a brother to Yuan Chao at this point. We might lose Gong Sun Fan here. Wow, that was almost that was almost the biggest upset. Almost the biggest upset. But it wasn't. Wow, he only sent two thousand in. He was right, that's all I needed. Okay, let's 
Let's see if we can maybe raise his morale or something. Um, oh, he's building another tower. Okay. Now would be the time for Pay Yuan Chao to try to distract Yuan Chao. Because he's, he's still got all his troops back here. The good thing is about Zheng He being deployed right now, I know it doesn't look like it, but if he deploys more soldiers, yeah, I don't think he has any more commanders here that are quite the quality of these two. I think his best generals are over here. His other best generals are over here, I should say. So at least for right now, this is this is what we're dealing with. Even though I just threw away all those troops, essentially. You're welcome, Liu Bei. Zhao Yun has joined Gong Zun Du. That's perfect. That's perfect. He can just stay over there in that corner and uh, not bother anybody. Definitely not going to bother me. I'm going to get an alliance done. Set it and forget it, Gong Zun Du. Get that alliance set up and forget it. Alright, now he's taken the core, so that's going to be a problem. We only have so much time to, like, mess around here before our supply line gets cut off. Okay, here's everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Gong Zun Zen. Is it AoE? Oh, Biomas Duty's not AoE. He's gotta hold it. He's gotta hold off him. Let's get Gaolan out of there. I was hoping for a chain, but I guess not. Alright then. If we get Zheng He off the board, then I think it'll... After that, it'll be time to withdraw. Captain. Perfect. Now to get out of here in one piece. What a, what a prize. What a prize. If we can just get out of here. We will have a mighty, mighty general. But we still have to escape. Right, looks like he's heading up to try to attack us. Um, That's fine by me. We can just... Let's see. Can't really go down there. It's going to take too long to come back up the mountains. We'll be cut off. Okay, let's get somebody out there. We could do goose. I don't know. Like, if they give chase... Ah, uh, they're not going to give chase, though. Maybe. They might even let me go. Alright, so let's see. Suggestions. We have Confuse. 
It's already restrained, that's the important thing. Let's just improve that barracks there. Man, capture Jenghi. I had a feeling too, I had a feeling. I was like, if I could capture Jenghi, capture Gao Lan here, this would will will be uh, definitely worth it overall. Because uh, Yuan Chao doesn't have that much depth in terms of talent. You know, he's got maybe five guys total that are very, very, very good, very solid. And after that, it just drops off. So anytime you can poach a guy from him, it's, it's big. Also, he's always got two to three cities. You know, in this one, he's got two, but usually he's got two to three. And he's going to have to spread his uh, officers around. Look, he's got Yang Liang all the way over here. Doing this nonsense. Alright. Still got to get away, though. Hopefully I'm not counting my chickens too early. He's gonna take the outside. I thought he was gonna take the outside shoulder. Alright, let's put the speed up. Like I said, we might not get away. Oh, he's gonna let me go. That was just so lucky. So lucky. Let me get Gong Zoom San back in charge. Plus four. Mm. My brother put up a hell of a fight in that duel. Uh, no, we're not doing that. Keep checking. Yu Yan's getting a lot of officers. Oh, quite a bit. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. I can't send the. Uh, been sending Wang Ling to help search all this time. I gotta stop that. It's affecting the recruit. Guaranteed retreat. Very important. That's fantastic. Now I don't have to worry about, you know, Kong Zun Zan being... I can really put him in some dangerous situations now. I don't have to worry about being captured at least. I don't have to worry about being killed, but... That's a risk every general's got to take. barracks up the sooner the better so we have love triangle and Queen province yellow turbans which that's a power boost for south south this guy's building all over the place Hopefully Zenki switches sides. Look out oh, I, again. I, gotta, I gotta change that. <laughs> Keep doing that. I don't think it'll be too big of a obstacle to get Zenki to switch sides either, because he's a pretty fair weather general. He always has been. Dash man, that's so good. Kong Tsu Zen has just got some awesome traits. Defense is great. Dash is amazing. 
Castle Builder, it just pairs so well with the other ones, you know? He moves fast, he has a bonus to his defense, and he's skilled at building, which can make him a very aggressive builder. You can use him to build stuff in enemy. I should have had him build, actually, now that I think about it. he has He's the one with the trade, after all. I should have looked over the force before uh, just jumping into this one, but... I've been trying to get back to playing this for a while now. So, I've been chopping at the bit. Alright, employee, let's see. Same thing. Search. All except city. There we go. So yeah, Pei Yuan Xiao, I, you know, the thing about it, sometimes you want to try to split up the force's attention. And right there, even though he didn't really attack or nothing really came of it, you'd be surprised. Sometimes the AI will send out a very powerful general away from their front just to try to, uh, just to try to stop your little guy, your little puny guy. So that's why I do that sometimes, because you don't know when the AI, who the AI is going to send out as a response. Wow, that's pretty dramatic. Is he a nemesis? No, he's not an ad adversary. He's not an adversary. Let's just uh, detain him. Cut you down. You're 26 years old. You got plenty of. You're in your prime. Fighting days are ahead of you. Your best fighting days, Zhang He. Zhang He is going to be a huge, huge boost for my force. Not as great as Zhao Yun. But uh <laughs> you know, he's not a band-aid, he's not a he's not a cure-all like Zhao Yun is. So as you, as you guys saw, he almost lost the duel against someone who was like twenty points lower than him. Pretty crazy. Pretty impressive like on my end, but at the same time it's like yeesh. Your strength you have an eighty nine strength and you almost dropped that. Alright, let's just... Should we keep searching? I feel like that's all there is to do right now. Liu Bei's got 11k, which is pretty good. Just like that, we got him. Oh man, Zhang He joins the force already. This feels like just like a fictional what if, you know? Zhang He comes over and join. Oh, Liu Yu and Yuan Shao have come to terms. That sucks. That sucks for us. Just in time to get Zhang He, I guess. At least we don't have to worry about Li Yu ever really attacking. He's just gonna build up everything here insanely so. I could go to war with him, but I don't know. This is this is gonna be the This is gonna be the problem right here. How do we break this deadlock? As long as Liu Yu and Yuan Shao are allied like this moving forward, we're going to be outnumbered 2 to 1 consistently. So, we're going to need to keep Liu Bei alive also. So that we're not the only ones uh, all alone fighting Yuan Shao. I guess Zeng Yang could be a factor, but 
I don't think so. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I'll probably have one more upload at some point during the week. And uh, we'll after, after that, we'll pick it up again next weekend. Uh, so like I said at the beginning of the video, we'll keep Kong Zoom Zang. It's going to be it moving forward. I might sneak in an upload here and there of my Liu Kui. Liu, I keep saying Liu Kui. Liu Kong playthrough. The live stream. Um, and next month, uh, the plan is to start uploading some Crusader Kings. And further down the road, I'm looking forward to the Nobunaga's Ambition. That got announced. That's finally going to get a Western release. So I think that was for July or something. So whenever that does drop, you know, at some point, I'll definitely be uploading that as well. But yeah, make sure you guys like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until then, take care.